Good morning, YouTubers. Mark Savage here. Welcome to my shed. What are we here to talk about on a very nice, hot July day? It's a bike I haven't really given an awful lot of attention to. I had the sister bike of it a few times, but I've always classed it as sort of um, A2 after you pass your test bikes. So not really interesting if I'm honest with you. However, they are still great bikes. What am I talking about? Kawasaki's ER6F. There you go, said it all. This one, however, hasn't been loved. Scratches. You know what's happened here, don't you? She has been down the road. Very unfortunate. They are nice looking bikes. From the front, you could easily mistake this for a much bigger bike. Z1000 SX maybe. And from the side, they look very sporty. Nice colours on it. Once again, thank your wife. A cup of tea. You have to have a cup of tea. Right, what would you get for this little bike? Get a 16 litre tank, so four gallons. Not the biggest brake horsepower. It's a twin, parallel twin on these. But several verses before, little 650s, they're great single bikes, single tourers. They're not really, that's got a pillion seat here. These are great commuter bikes, or a little bit of light touring. They're brilliant. Really good on fuel. But what are these doing to this one? Well, 66 plate. 18 months old, someone's come off it. The video before, I've had a check over the bike before you get back on the road. Someone's really done this and played with little bits, but I'll be replacing lots of panels. Good old clutch lever needs replacing. The clock fascia surround, this side and this side. Fairings are cracked, and obviously this all needs replacing. Now I have got the parts for these. In a little magic box here, I have loads and loads and loads of parts. Drag this in, my little workshop, take it all apart, get the parts we need, and get this bike back on the road, and you're about to see how pretty she looks. Dead. They're not bad bikes. Exhaust system, you can get a lot of off-the-market exhaust for these. I mean, I've done a video on changing exhaust on here. Good idea to check out my videos. Uh, rear wheel replacement, exhaust replacement on one of these. Um, service as well. They're really easy to service, really easy to maintain. You haven't got to go to main dealer. Um, that exhaust literally is just a waste of ton. You know, you get a sport exhaust on there, but I have got a twin sort of pop pop noise. You will notice as well, this is bent. Now, this is a bitch because if you don't warm them up and bend them, they'll snap, which means another part I've got to buy. Single shock here looks absolutely gorgeous. I do like the look of that. Not a bad display, if I'm honest with you. Fuel injection 3,221 miles on the clock. It's got petrol in it. Simple, basic, and easy display. Dog. I'm not going to start it because it just sounds like a pop pop. But when I get it all sorted, we will. Right, let's get it in the shed. Start work on it. Uh, the shed. Let's have a quick look at the bike. Took the side panels off and all of the front off. It's looking a little bit sorry for itself, to be honest with you. But you have to take this much off to get to parts. Like the clocks had to come off. Was the offending parts had to go behind a clock but you had to get all the screen and so on off lever that's on order I put most of the bolts back in where they came from this is to save me knowing where they go and he would used brown tape so this must be a fascia part he bothered to change but not the rest but they're the old panels a few scratches I'm guessing a lot of this actually may have even tea cutted or polished certainly would have made a, a better job of them but for the new panels thank you bird and all ready to go on three pieces all put back together they don't feel as good a quality but looks wise I'm actually quite happy fancy putting the red in it but as they marked up I didn't want to take it away so we are waiting for this panel and the clutch lever while the engine's open, let's give that a good clean, check around, make sure all the fluids, well, oh, I've already done the fluids. The only thing I'm not going to try and bend around, I know it's annoying, I'm just not going to try and do it. 
Um, I could try and take it off, but do you know what? I whacked it a few times with a little soft hammer. It didn't move at all, and all it seemed to do is push this around a little bit, the old the whole frame bit of it. So I'm not going to do it. Um, it will annoy me, but it works fine, and it's the only part that I'm going to say that I wish I'd done and I didn't. But I know if I try it, there's like always a little bit of collar there. If you, you know, already looks like I said a little bit of rust there. I don't want it to snap. It's now a fifty odd quid. A real profit in this bike. Um, I don't make money. Um, I'm a poor person, um, but I can't. I can't see why I do that. So I'm going to clean, put the side panels on. I'm hoping later today the clutch and ever bits come and I can get her out, uh, go ridies on her and uh, see how she goes. But other than that, the water's topped up, the oil was clean. I phoned up the place it came from. Lucky it had a key that had the address from the old company that it bought from. And I phoned him up and it had its first service and its interim service as well. So this is all ready to go. It looked really clean oil as well. So it's a shame the lad got either overconfident or someone pulled out or something, but it's only a minor little slide. So anyway, let's get on. Next time you should see it is outside here, looking yummy. And there we go. A few last little touch up and preps to do. Put one, ER6F, 2016. Very pretty little bike, really. As I said, I've had the sister of it. The Versus 650s, same engine, parallel twins. Remember one thing though, when you're getting pattern parts they won't fit exactly the same and this is why you're not paying thousands of pounds for them you're paying a lot less there is a little bit of squidging to do here and there and a slightly drilling maybe bigger holes here and there but generally there you go I decided not to put the red inserts in I feel a nice black personally what we do we have a little ride about I'll do that on another video because I'll take the Z out as well as this one I just thought I'd give you a nice little look round and you can have a little look. As I said, they, they can be a bit bugger, these old panels. But in the day, very pretty. Just got a few little black bits to clean up on and a bit more chrome here and there and exhaust and so on. But, uh, job done. Nice easy dash on these, as I said before. 3,500 miles. <laughs> start I'm not going to ride it today but they do ride reasonably well I mean they're parallel twin 650 um, as I said you, you do have to give it some they handle quite well don't be overconfident with them maybe that's what happened or someone pulled out in front of him um, except for that little rat and then the whole mirror I'm quite happy with this actually it's not done too bad whatsoever but there you go reasonably little video of me tightening this one up um, not for me obviously, I think it works as it should, I sort of pre ammo them anyway, 18 months old is nothing, 3,500 miles on the clock. Like, share and subscribe, watch out for my Z1000SX coming up next video, there's a lot to do, that one I'm going riders on that one, I'm changing the exhaust for some mega exhaust on that one. No sense in changing exhaust on these, I've done it several times, I had the MTC exhaust on my other little one I had, I've done a video on, on here of that actually, rear wheel changing and a general walk around, um, riding it and at work. Um, I've liked them, but it's just a thud, I'm honest with you, you know, you know that annoying little 125 with the exhaust that goes, ah, by sort of that, I, I don't love that exhaust noise anymore, however, the Z1000 exhaust, that should be the nuts, I rattle on, this is this dumb. Take care of yourselves.